Hello, let's place dominoes. It's time to solve pips. We shall start with the easy puzzle. Let's see how it goes. All right, it's very compact grid. We need four of something, which will be fives, I think, and then two of something, which will be twos, I guess. Okay, so I don't know. We'll just try putting them here, see if this works. It looks like it will. And there we go. That was the easy puzzle. All right, we'll move on to medium. Okay, much more involved. This is interesting, this little corner over here with a, with a zero region, a one and a two. So do we have a zero and a one? We don't have a zero and a one. That means we need a double zero. Um, do we have a one and a two? We don't have that either. Wow, look at this huge three region. That's pretty interesting. So we need a one that points into that. Well, it must be the, oh, it must be the three. Interesting. So the rest of the three can only be, the rest of this whole three region can only be zeros. So we need a four zero. We need a two zero. And then we have two more zeros. So the zero five must point into the six region. The zero three must point into the five region. So now we need a one to finish our six and a two to finish our five. Now we need something greater than seven, so we can put a double four in there. Okay, that was interesting. Um, that was one of the uh, one of the largest sort of small quantity regions we've that I can remember seeing. Anyway, we'll move on to the hard. Let's see how this one goes. Whoa, wow, this is. Uh, all right, okay. I need to expand the size of my window here. This is. Is this even going to fit on my screen? Yes, okay, it'll just barely fit. This is outrageous, look at this. Okay, well, we, we, we need a double zero up here immediately. That we can just put in, so that's fine. Um, we also need a zero connected to a greater than three, which I think only has one possibility, which is this six. Is that correct? I think that is correct. So that's that bit's done, fine. We need two sixes with a 12. One of them is connected to a two. So that is also forced. So that's fine. Do we have a six three? We don't. So the six points up into the nine and will be this four. We need a five coming off of that that goes into something that can fit a two. So that's either a two or a one, depending on whether it's a, there's a zero coming off of it. Um, and we need a three that also has a zero and one in it, interesting. So, uh, oh, also what do we have three of for this equivalence here? We have three fives. It can't be three fives because then, then the nine would break. Um, I don't think it could be three zeros because that'll, we won't then have enough to, uh, to deal with this two and one region over here. Oh, and we also need a zero over there. Um, I don't think it could be, well, I don't know. Maybe it could be ones. I sort of doubt it because of what's going on over here, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, it could be threes. It could be fours. Oh, wait, no, it's something we need a double of it, whatever it is. Sorry, I didn't even think about that. So what do we have a double of? It might need to be this three. I think it has to be. Yeah, sorry. Okay, that's, that's clear. And then... It connects to a two that connects, or sorry, connects to a two-sized equivalence region that itself connects to a zero. So we need a zero that comes off of something that can work here. I don't think it could be this three, because then we'd need a double three, which we don't have. Um, I'm reticent to use this zero one, because I feel we'll need it over there, but let's look at it just in case. That would connect to a one three, which does technically work. Maybe it is that, I don't know. The other possibility is this two, which would need to connect to a two three. We do have that as well. I suspect it'll be this one. Um, Okay, what else have I not looked at yet? We need a greater than one connected to a four. Um, that could be a two or a five. It'll probably be the two because they usually like to be cute like that. <laughs> greater than one just being a two, but it might not be. Um, what else? Do we? Can we make a five? Sorry, can we make a 10 out of a single domino? No, we cannot. So this, this will connect elsewhere, which means all of these regions up in this uh, upper left will be split, essentially. Oh, that's useful for the two, which must be 
two ones or a, or a two and a zero. What about this eight? This eight could be two fours or a five and a three. What about the 10 connected to the eight? That's, that's a bit more constrained. The 10 needs to be two fives. And that means the eight can't be five three, because I don't think we have a way to connect a five to anything that could make that. We don't, uh, we, we don't. Right. So I think that means the eight must be two fours because that's the only thing we can connect fives to. So I think that means five four goes here. There, I finally made a bit more progress. So now we need a four that connects to something that can survive in a two region, which could be this four one or four two. We also need a five that connects to something that could survive in a four region. So yeah, there are just two possibilities. Let's just see. So five two, we would then need a two. I think this, no, this doesn't break because we could put the two zero here. Then we could put a two four. That works. Let's try the other, let's try the other five. Five, one, we would need a three. Oh, we have several options for that one. Interesting. You know, this could this could go to the two, then we can have a two, four. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure which of those is required. Oh, and I forgot we oh right. Sorry, we need two all of our fours are spoken for. I don't really think that matters at this point, but it is true because we, we need one for the eight and one for the single four region. It's not a big deal, but it's it's just it's accurate. Um, we need a zero over here. We've got our three to deal with, and another three over here. Right? Oh, right. What about this three that connects to something that can survive in a one? I mean, again, we've got we've got two options there. We've got a zero or a one. If we put the three one, we need a zero that connects to the two. Again, we've got options for that. Got five two and five one. If that's a five two, we'd need a zero. All of these things have so many options. Maybe I should just try something. The problem is, I'm gonna if it's wrong, I'm gonna have to take all these things out, which I really just do not like doing. If that's a five one, oh, this only has one option. If that's a five one, this would need to be the one zero. Does that help me at all? Then this could be a one three. Okay, let's just play this out and see if it works. Um. Oh, what does this say? P. Oh, it says pips. <laughs> it spells pips. Sorry. Didn't even notice that. Um, anyway. Um, 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 um. Now we only have one five left, which goes here, which means we'd need a two that points upwards into the two, which would need to be the two zero now, which would mean we'd need a two four over here. Maybe it's just this. No, it's not. This breaks. Okay, well, good. We've broken it. That's good. I don't even remember which way I started over here. Was it with the 5-1? Yeah, I think it was with the 5-2 down here and the 5-1 up there. So now we flip those around, I guess. Um, wait a second. Did I have a 5 and a 3? No. 5-1 up here. And then... Uh, that means we need a zero pointing down into the one and a zero pointing into the three, which means we need a zero with a two in the equivalence region, which means we need, to, we need a two pointing down to the three here. And that leaves us a three that goes here and a one that goes here and a four that goes here. And this is all correct. Okay. I don't know if there was a great way to sort of intuit that. There probably was, but... Um, I just tried the two possibilities and one of them was correct and one of them wasn't. And there we have it. Those were the pips. We've spelled out pips in our grid. And um, that's that. Back tomorrow. Uh, bye for now.